So for today, we're going to be talking about Winter's Guile. This is the exotic that got chosen, and this one's going to be a little bit different because <sighs> this exotic looks different. So I'll explain it when we actually look at the exotic, but we're going to be looking at how it looks, what it does, um, its ornament, if it has any, and then we'll do some example sets. But this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be looking at how it looks in shaders in game instead of me just showcasing it in like... A little thing so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe remember if you want to get your exotic chosen then just let me know in the comments below which one you want and then i'll add it onto the list so uh remember to like comment subscribe uh hit the bell notification if you want to keep up to date with my current content because i do think my content is worth it and other than that let's get into it so to start off warlord sigil defeating targets with melee attacks increase your melee damage targets encased by penumbral blast automatically shatter i didn't know it had that that's pretty cool so let's actually look at what it does because i'm pretty i'm pretty sure like winter's guile like this uh the perk is pretty much self-explanatory it just gives you more damage the more melee you do so here's how it looks so the problem the reason i decided to do it in game is because this is how it looks even with the ornament which is stupid because <laughs> the main thing is right here so that's why i decided to just do it through here because uh even even with shadering it's not like oh my god it looks so different it's still gonna be that color um same thing for the ornament unfortunately the ornament just turns the metal into ice which is super cool granted it's just that don't expect it to change color the only thing that really does change color is like this right here i wish i could get closer i promise you. oh my hell i think i can that's yeah, a little closer so yeah like this right here will change color with the or uh, with or without the ornament so if you were like interested to see like what it actually god damn it what it actually changes then yeah actually let me see what's a good like color to be like oh there it is um oh this one yeah yeah so you guys can see right there uh it's like a back plate that's gonna change color other than that nothing else is gonna change color oh did i take the there we go yeah so just be aware of that um other than that the really unfortunate part is that the green straps will not change color it's just the cloth and even then sometimes the cloth doesn't even want to change color sometimes but yeah just be aware of that it's going to be really really annoying that's why i ended up doing it the, this way so that way you guys can actually see what it changes into because again <laughs> just showcasing this arm doesn't do anything considering this is the arm that has the actual thing so that's why I wanted to do it real fast. That's for the ornament as well. So next up is going to be the both example sets for the Winter's Guile and the Dead of Winter. So let me know what you guys think about the example sets in the comments below. As for the example set, we're going to go with the default look. This one is pretty cool because I imagine it kind of having a like like it defends your your arm when you're in a sword fight which is why we're using the hexer robes iron companion hood because i feel like it looks really good with the hexer robes starfire boot um nothing really too crazy about this one i just wanted something a little bit cool down there and then the iron foreigner bond the shader is actually gamekeeper which is not a shader that i thought i would like but i actually really like it with this whole thing so like i said um, this is more of a <clears throat> when my warlock is in a sword fight she actually can, can defend herself with that um, with the right left side of the arm which is pretty cool you just you just have to imagine it in your mind's eye that like my guardian has a sword and she's like using it using the the guard on her f arm so that way like they don't hit it that's kind of like where my head go went with this one so let me know what you guys think about this one as for Dead of Winter, the ornament, the example set I actually came up with is interesting in the sense that, like, I don't hate this, but at the same time, like, I I don't know, like, I, I genuinely do like it. I just really wish we had, like, actual stasis crystal armor sets, so, because then this would actually be really cool. So for the helmet, we're going to be using Dragonfly Regalia Mandible, which is the helmet. For the chest piece, score and bear in robes. For the boots, like him boots. And then for the bond, no bond. We're going to be using the ancestral bond with a shader that turns off the glow. And I like I like the score and bear in robes with the like kin boots is a combo I like to do. Because A, the score and bear has a lot of like um, bandages. 
<clears throat> around the guardian and then the light can uh boots also has a lot of bandages within the legs as well so it kind of makes it look like they're almost like a burn victim almost which looks pretty cool um and dead of winter i think looks really really cool with this edges because a with cryptic insignia it actually looks really cool as well so let me know what you guys think i apologize that this one was a little bit faster than most um especially for the person who asked for this it's just you have to be aware that like i can't really make a video on showcasing like this and then like or it's not even that one this is this would be the first shade we would show off <laughs> and then this one and then you know like it keeps going like oh yeah like this doesn't really represent this that well <clears throat> granted i guess i could have just done like hold on, hold on. i guess i could have just done this where i do that and then have it on the side of the actual thing but uh, it's just too much work for something that could have just be easy easily been explained through this like how i did it so yeah i like i don't hate this look it's pretty cool i just wish like either this one was on this side or th there is two on each side so that way it, it actually made sense because again whoever designed this didn't think it through like why would you put it on the other side when you could have just put it on this side when this is the arm that they always showcase but don't let that stop you from making some cool sets i definitely think i made some cool sets with it that being said this is one of the more hard or exotics to make like an actual cool set with um even even the sets that i made i only like the default look one just because like in my head it actually looks really cool let me actually recreate it real quick so here it is remade i definitely like it like i like how this one came out a lot more than the other one just because again like i said this arm is gonna be holding this sword um both of my actually but um the way that she would hold it this arm would always be the one out in the wild so that way if like for example like an enemy would try to hit her then she could guard it with this arm and that's like my where my head went through but if i'm being honest i would switch out the boots or something else um i'm not the biggest fan of the boots now that i'm like really really looking at it that being said i would probably use the iron this one i think this one would be fine anything with like anything with like a knightly look i think wouldn't be too terrible like maybe this this is does this actually doesn't look that terrible on it actually like yeah this looks cool all right yeah i would do this one um just because the high heels like i like it but like genuinely doesn't make sense when they're going i'm going for more of a knightly look but yeah um the other thing i would probably switch out would probably be the shader if i'm being quite honest um just because i'm not the biggest like i like the shader it's pretty cool to the point where like i'm actually thinking about using this shader as my my channel colors because it's close to my actual colors that i want to go through the only difference is that there's brown in here um but like there's other shaders you can definitely use like this one was one that i was thinking of using <clears throat> my only gripe is it, like this plate armor doesn't change color so it would have looked weird with like everything looking chrome as fuck and then this one doesn't so there yeah like i said there just goes so much into just making like a set like this where <sighs> i don't think it looks bad i it's just you really have to like lean into certain things like you lean you have to lean into that like this plate color if you want if you don't that's fine but you also have to remember that there's green here so that's like another thing and it got to a point where i was just like fuck it i'll just use that shader which I don't think it looks terrible with it like granted i think this these two colors are so close to each other that i don't really mind it so so much but i would i wouldn't i wouldn't like put it past you if you're like nah it, bug, it bugs me too much i'd be like okay that's fine totally understandable um but if you want to get like a good shader i would probably just say you like stick to the greens the greens are going to be your best choice because like this looks pretty cool and the green on the arms don't bug me as much as they pretty much should but yeah this is like my my process i just get, go through each of the shaders that i know are green and hope that one of them look looks really cool with it like this doesn't look terrible with it but it's not the same green um let me see some of my non-favorite shaders that doesn't look terrible but I'm not a fan of it hmm yeah yeah, like this is this is where shaders kind of pissed me off because like I really wish, God, I really wish we had 
better color scheme. Oh, this is actually not bad. Not my favorite, but it's not bad either. Uh, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I apologize that this wasn't like the other videos, but again, this is not like other exotics where it's easy to showcase. Unfortunately, the main exotic portion of it is not even in the right arm. So you miss out on a lot of the cool like things that I could have showed you. But hopefully I at least showed you enough to make some cool sets with it. I would definitely combine this with some nightly looks. Um, maybe some fantastical looks as well would be really cool. But overall, a very hard exotics to go through. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.